Hello and welcome. Let's talk about schizophrenia. Incidence of schizophrenia. According to the World Health Report 2001, about 25 million people worldwide are suffering from schizophrenia. The point prevalence of schizophrenia is about 0.521%, and the incidence of schizophrenia is believed to be about 0.5 per 1000. Etiology. The etiology is unknown, but the theories include biological theories, genetic hypothesis, biochemical theories, brain imaging theories, and psychological theories. Now, first rank symptoms of schizophrenia, audible thoughts, voices heard arguing, voices commenting on one's action, thought withdrawal, thought insertion, thought diffusion or broadcasting, made feelings or effect, made impulses, made volition or acts, somatic passivity, and delusional perception. Now, clinical features. The schizophrenia is characterized by disturbance in thought and verbal behavior, perception, affect, motor behavior, and relationship to the external world. Thought and speech disorders include artistic thinking, where thinking is governed by private and ideological rules, loosening of associations, there is thought blocking, and neologisms are newly formed words or phrases which deviation cannot be understood. Now, the commonly seen delusions in schizophrenia include delusion of persecution, reference, grandeur, control, and somatic delusions. Schneider's fostering symptoms such as thought insertion, thought withdrawal, thought broadcasting, mere feeling, mere impulse, and mere violations may also be present. Disorders of perception. Hallucinations are common in schizophrenia, where auditory hallucinations are most common. And Elementary audio hallucinations, thought echo, third person hallucinations are the characteristics of schizophrenia and voices commenting on one's action can be seen. Visual hallucinations can also occur and the tactile, gustatory and olfactory types are less common. Disorders of affect, apathy, emotional blunting, emotional shallowness, anhedonia and inappropriate emotional response. Disorders of motor behavior, either decreased or increased psychomotor activity, Mannerisms, grimacing, stereotypes, decreased self-care, and poor grooming are common features. Negative symptoms, affective flattening or blunting, attentional impairment, evolution, apathy, anhedonia, asociality, and allergia. Other features include decreased functioning in work, social relations, and self-care, loss of ego boundaries, multiple somatic symptoms, insight is absent and social judgment is poor, obvious underlying organic cause is absent, no prominent mood disorder of repressive or maniac type. Clinical types. It may be paranoid schizophrenia, heavy phrenic, catatonic, residual, undifferentiated, simple, or post schizophrenic depression. Now, type 1 and type 2 schizophrenia. The type 1 syndrome is characterized by positive symptoms, while the type 2 syndrome is predominantly characterized by presence of negative syndrome. Type 1 syndrome is supposed to have an acute presentation, good response to medication, and a good outcome, while type 2 is theorized to be chronic in course, have a poor response to medication and a poor outcome. Very few patients have a pure type 1 or type 2 syndrome and admixtures are far more common. Now, differential diagnosis for schizophrenia. Psychosis with non-organic causes such as complex partial seizures, drug-induced psychosis, or mood disorders like mania, depression or mixed affective disorder or CG affective disorder, or non-organic psychosis like delusion or disorders, Acute and transient psychotic disorders, comorbid medical conditions, or psychotic disorders like depression, anxiety, alcohol, drug misuse, personality disorder. Now, prognosis. The good prognosis factors include proper treatment, acute onset, presence of precipitating stressor, onset more than 35 years of age, duration less than 6 months, presence of depression, usually female sex, more social support, first episode, and CT scan normal. Bad Prognosis factors include absence of proper treatment, insidious onset, absence of precipitating stressor, onset lesser than 20 years of age, chronic course usually more than 2 years, absence of depression, usually male sex, poor social support, past history of schizophrenia, and CT scan of brain showing evidence of ventricular enlargement. Now, management. Pharmacological treatment includes typical antipsychotics like chlorpromazin, clopentixol, haloperidol, loxapine, and others. Or atypical antipsychotics like emisulpride, eripiprazole, coronazepine, onanazepine, quetipine, risperidone, jotipine, etc., and electroconvulsive therapy. 
Now, indications for electroconvulsive therapy in schizophrenia includes catatonic stupor, uncontrolled catatonic excitement, acute exacerbation not controlled with drugs, severe side effect with drugs. Usually, 8 to 12 ECTs are given two or three times a week. Psychosocial treatment includes psychoeducation of the patient and family or caregivers. End of the topic.